everyone in this video we are going to solve part 4 of question number first here you have to evaluate the following expression and obviously to solve or you can say to evaluate these this expression you must know the values of each ratio and here first of all you must know the value of this sign 30 degree then you know you must know the value of 10 45 degree cos sec 60 sec 30 cos 60 and cot 45 and this is a table given to you and from this table you can see what will be the value of sin 30 that will be sin 30 will be 1/2 uh in the first part i have already discussed how to form how to make this table okay but i'll advise you to learn this table by heart you must know the value of sin 30 without looking at this table similarly you must know all values without seeing without looking into this table then only your question will be easy that sol uh, the solution will be very easy now first of all it's uh, substitute the value here uh, sin 30 will be 1 by 2 plus 10 45 10 45 1 and cos 60 uh we know that cos is inverse of sin and sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so inverse of this that is cos 60 will be 2 by root 3 so it will be 2 by root 3 after that the denominator it is sec 30 and we know that sec is inverse of cos and cos 30 is root 3 by 2 that means sec 30 will be inverse of this value that is 2 by root 3 plus cos 60 cos 60 is 1 by 2 And plus cot 45, and cot is inverse of 10, and 10 45 is 1, so inverse of 1 is again 1. So now solve this further. Obviously, to solve these uh, these expression further, obviously I have to take the LCM, and LCM of 2, 1 and root 3 will be 2 root 3, and here this when divided by 2, so 2 and 2 will be get cancelled out and only 3 will be there and 3 when multiplied by 1 will be root 3 and it will be 2 root 3 and it will be minus 4 okay and in the denominator again i have take the lcm and lcm of root 3 2 and 1 will be 2 root 3 and here it will be 4 plus here it will be root 3 and here it will be 2 root 3 now this is the main upon or you can say main fraction and the denominator of both the fraction are same so both can be cancelled and if i solve this root 3 and root 3 are like terms so 1 root 3 plus 2 root 3 will be 3 root 3 minus 4 and in the denominator and it will be 3 root 3 plus 4 okay now there is a root in the denominator and to solve this further obviously we have to rationalize it okay and if i have to rationalize this what i have to do is i have to multiply with this expression after changing the sign in this sign okay now this sign is positive so i have to multiply this by the same expression after changing this sign okay now this will be root 3 minus 4 So this is known as rationalization. Now, this both the terms are same. Now, if I consider this as a, 
and this has b so a minus b and a minus b can be written as a minus b whole square and in the denominator it is a plus b and a minus b so in the denominator it will be a plus b into a minus b and we know that a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square now solve this further you have to use the formula expand this expression and uh, the expression is a minus b whole square and a minus b whole square is equal to a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab so this is the formula which we are going to use in this expression so it will be a square plus b square minus 2 into a into b and in the denominator it will be a square minus b square a square will be this will be 3 root 3 multiplied by 3 root 3 ok now 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 and root 3 multiplied by root 3 is 3 so 9 into 3 is 27 and it will be minus 16 now solve this expression further again this is same as this so this is square will be 27 and plus 16 and minus this expression will be 4 to the 8 8 into 3 is 24 root 3 and in the denominator it will be 27 minus 16 will be 11 ok now if you want to solve this further this will be Forty-three minus twenty-four root three upon eleven. So this should be my answer for this particular question. So uh, this is how we can solve this particular question.